Yo, what is going on my G's? Welcome back to another video. Man, I know it's been a while since I last posted. I think the last time I posted was literally sometime last year. We finally hit the 200 subscribers on New Year's. Man, and I just want to thank all y'all that have been subscribing. We finally hit like, I think it's like 230 something subscribers right now. Um, I appreciate all the support guys. Um, keep subscribing if you already haven't. I know I've been slacking on the videos a lot lately. Uh, the weather's been real bad here in Texas. I mean, well, West Texas, it like snowed twice this month and then like last week we literally had a like rainstorm and for like two or three days it was it's been raining and off and on and off and on it's just making a muddy mess and this weather is just not working right with my videos so today i'm finally bringing y'all another video i'm gonna go ahead and tint the front windows on my tahoe i'm gonna show y'all the percentage i'm gonna use and the film i'm gonna be using uh right now i went ahead and took the tint off the old one i'm getting it prepped and everything right now so that way you're gonna go ahead and cut the new one out and then go ahead and place it in there so let's go ahead and get into the video you guys let me show y'all what was what i've done so far excuse the truck guys like i said it's been raining and there's all this dirt and stuff and it's just making a muddy mess like you can see in here my new floor mess that i literally just got but oh well guys we'll, we're gonna go ahead and get the truck washed right whenever all this settles down i went ahead and pulled the panel back i took out the seven millimeter that was right here there's this little plastic cover that's right behind the door handle Pop that off, a seven millimeter. And I went back here and I pried this thing back. Just just this part right here, I pried it back. And then I took the, uh, the weather stripping out. You can see it right here. Just to make things a lot easier, since uh, you see all this stuff right here, this is all the old, um, all the old glue from the old tent. Here's the old tent. I believe it's like a 35 or whatever. I'm not sure. But yeah, guys, I went ahead and took off that old tent. And right now I'm just prepping it, or I'm trying to get it all cleaned off, get the window nice and nice and clean from all this old glue, so that way whenever we go ahead and throw the new tin on, it's easier to do. I mean, it goes on good. And actually, I went ahead and tinted the back windows too, probably like say a couple weeks ago, I tinted the back windows as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this window prepped, guys, and uh, cleaned off, and then uh, I'll show y'all how I do my tin. Like I said, I'm not a professional tinner, so. I hope you guys liked the video and let's get on to it. This is the film I'll we'll be using guys, the Lexan window film is a 20% so uh, this is the one we're gonna be putting in the front we're gonna go ahead and be putting a uh, 20% in the front so uh, yeah guys let's go ahead and get on to it and I'll show you guys uh, more or less how I do it so let me know down in the comments how I do
Alrighty my G's, so I finally got this window tinted. It actually looks a little bit darker in person than it does on camera, but there you go. Let's see. It looks way better. I think it'll get darker as soon as I tint that other side. But um, I need to go ahead and wipe it down a little bit better. Alright guys, so as I was saying, the camera died. Um, I didn't put a new battery in it, but like I said, I finally got this window tinted. I think once I tint that other side over there, I think it'll give it more of a darker look. So uh, this side's done. I did end up having a little finger right here, what they call them. It'll start to like crease right here. So what I did is I just grabbed a heat gun. And then um, y'all probably saw me squeegeeing it out a lot. Um, I thought I was just trying to get that finger out. And I finally got it out. So now the tint's all nice and, nice and on there. So let's go ahead to the other side. Let's go ahead and remove that one. Do the same thing. my geez I finally got that passenger side window done this thing looks great man looks real good I'm gonna go ahead and put the weather stripping back on go ahead and put the door panel bolt it back in and it's a done deal guys alrighty my geez so this is how the truck ended up looking like like I said we went ahead and put 20% in the front and then we put 20% over stock in the rear so that's a 5% in the rear um, it looks dark in person, but you can still kind of see through it, which is pretty good. Uh, probably not on camera, you can't see through it. But like I said, guys, I know this truck needs a wash. Uh, I mean, the weather's kind of crazy out right now, so I'll probably just wait to get it washed. That Lexan tent, I do recommend it, guys. Um, it's it's a good budget tent. I mean, I'm not going to say it's the professional type of tent like SunTech or Lumar or anything like that, but I mean, that tent's pretty good. I mean, if you're not like a professional tinter, you're just a DIY guy like me, and you just want to tint your windows nice, it, that tint has a real natural look to it. It's not blue, purple, or anything like that. I know that tints from like AutoZone and Advanced Auto, like that, like parts stores, Walmart, they have that tint that they sell. I believe it's Black Magic or the Gila brand. Every time you go to look at the tint, like in the sun or something, it looks bluish or it looks purplish. Just depends on which tint. I believe the Black Magic is more on the purple side and the Gila is more on the blue side. But yeah, guys, like I said, I do recommend that Lexan window film. I'll leave the link down in the description, guys, so that way y'all can go check it out. Um, I believe that 24 inch roll by 100 foot was, I believe it was $66 for the whole roll. And the, the new one I just got, it was a 5%, but it's a 36 inch roll by 100 foot. That one did end up costing me like 96 bucks, but guys, compared to $300 roll of professional film when you can just DIY film like me, I mean, budget, but good quality. So I do recommend that Lexan film. Um, I also did end up getting the tools from Lexan. 
um, I got the professional type tools I think I do have tools from Amazon but to be honest I really didn't like them because when I did the back windows I did them with the Amazon's um, window tinting kit and then when I did the front I ended up getting the tools from Lexin, which are fusion tools. They actually carry the fusion tool type, or the fusion tools. I'll tell you what, guys, those tools are worth the money. I think I spent like $20 on some blades for the stainless steel. Because, guys, you also want to get, when you're doing window tint, you also want to get a, a stainless steel type blade. So that way it prevents less scratches, less, it won't cut into the actual glass because I did end up using that carbon um, steel, the one that came with it. And as you, get, as you guys can see right here, you see this you see this scratch right here? That's when I was cutting the film. That cheap blade did end up scratching up my glass. Okay guys, so these are the tools I picked up from Amazon. I do have a little bit more. I'll leave the link down in the description as well for those that I got on there. It came with this one. Um, the felt card and I think this pink one too I believe um, but I didn't like them whenever I tinted the back windows on my truck um, I still had to squeegee it out plenty of times I know I squeegeed my front windows out a lot but I just wanted to make sure I got all the water out no bubbles no anything like that and these are the ones I picked up from Lexan I picked up that fusion um, the side swiper uh, it also has the the orange channel uh, squeegee this one was good the orange crush the orange crush the orange crush is basically like the blue max but just better this one or the flat out the yellow flat out um, the yellow turbo I recommend this one as well the yellow turbo is a good one and then the platinum easy reach uh, especially to like get it tucked into here and tuck it in over here clean the sides real good because you really can't clean the sides real good with like a regular squeegee or anything like that so I do recommend that and uh, yeah guys I hope y'all liked it this is a view from the inside of it like I said it's a little it is darker in person right now you could see right through it like if there was basically no tint on it but um, here's that front visor the double fight but yeah guys that clears it up for this video I really hope y'all liked it um i'm really impressed with the way the tint came out i really wish y'all guys could see it in person so that way y'all can get a real good look at it but uh i would highly recommend that tint that i used um i got a little couple of side jobs to do tint lined up already i got a cousin i got a homeboy i got all kinds of people wanting me to do their tint like i said i'm not a professional tinter but it always helps to learn new things guys i love learning new things I mean, it takes me a while, but you got to put some effort into it, guys. You can't just be lazy and not want to do it because you think you can't do it. Uh, keep pushing yourself. Um, learn new things. I mean, some things are easy for some people. Some things are hard for some other people. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. Um, I thought I couldn't really do window tint. I know y'all guys in the comments are going to be like, nah, you didn't do this. You didn't do that. But I mean... I mean, I'm, I'm happy for myself. That's pretty good that I know how to do it now. I really hope y'all like this video, guys. Stay tuned for another video. I'm um, sorry I haven't been posting like I said, but I tried my hardest to keep posting and posting more. I've been kind of slacking. Don't worry, guys. I'll be posting more videos here soon, so stay tuned. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that way you get notified when I post a new video. And I'll catch y'all guys on the next video. Peace.